Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming and stopping by. As you can tell by the title of the video, this is gonna be my Disney makeup that I'm gonna be using at the park. We are living, leaving in T minus six hours and I'm so, so ecstatic. I cannot wait. Um, so let's get right into the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my ears to keep the hair out of my face. Um, I've already moisturized and primed. I did use the Estee Lauder, um, the smoother. It's great, it's silicone based. It fills in all the things that you want to fill in. I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I am so excited to use this. I've been trying it out for the last few days and it really does what it says and it really does stay in place. Um, I got a kit when I went in, um, it came with this cute little brush and this is a sponge brush on this end. So I'm going to try to apply it with this and see how it works. Um, if it doesn't really work that well, I have my beauty, my beauty blender handy. Oh no, this is like a brand new pump. Oh, I have to turn it. <laughs> Okay, so I got a little bit on my brush. If you see me looking down, it's because my mirror is right underneath my camera. So, because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So something with this foundation is that you definitely want to make sure you moisturize really, really well. Um, because it does cling, it will cling to every dry spot you have on your face so um, just something to keep in mind I'm gonna go ahead and use the beauty blender um, the brush was great to spread it around but nothing really beats the beauty blender in my opinion like with when it comes to blending the foundation out and oh this also is a foundation that you do kind of um, have to work fast um, like blending it out and everything like that because it does dry um, and rather quickly so that is the first coat pretty good right guys um so I'm just doing a light coat and then I'll probably add more um, after I get my eyeshadow on because um, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow. Um, I will be using Urban Decay um, Petite Heat. I love this one. It's great for travel, which is what was going on. So I wanted something really easy, something kind of bull bulletproof, um, if you say, can you say? So I am going to take this little tiny technique brush. It is Insta Pop crease brush, but I'm going to use it kind of as an all over brush and I'm going to go into inhale, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And just kind of dust it all over the lid and into my inner corner. I want to make sure I leave that inner corner and I'm gonna, um, I want to leave that inner corner nice and bright. I'm also gonna take it up in the, into the brow bone. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you guys, I am so excited about being in Disneyland tomorrow. I, I, I am just so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see Johnny's expression. It's his first trip. And I, I'm, I just can't wait to see his expression when he sees all his characters that he loves come to life. I am... I have two kind of poofy brushes here. I'm going to use the one that's a little bit 
extra poofy. This one's a little bit more dense in comparison. So I am going to go into Hot Spell, which is right here. And I'm going to brush it, do a windshield wiper motion um, right in my crease. We're just going to darken it up a little bit. I just don't want like, I want a very natural and easy look. I I don't need like a full on smoky look or anything like that. Um, I know some people do do that. I just want, like I said, something easy and natural looking. I um, The reason I'm also going with an Urban Decay, Urban Decay um, palette and eyeshadow is because I I just know that their products last all day. Um, I just recently bought this other palette. I'm not going to mention any names, but when it first went on, the pigmentation was mwah, perfect, but it didn't last all day. It was, I don't know, I, um, I was really disappointed because I really liked the colors in it and it was like a dud. It was gone within like a couple hours and that's just not okay. Um, I'm gonna take that other fluffy brush that's a little bit more dense and I'm gonna go into heist. I'm gonna go in very, very delicately. I'm not gonna go in really with a heavy hand. And I'm gonna go in the little outer corner and do like a little bit of a V just to give my eye a little bit more dimension. Um, and this part is optional. Um, you don't have to do this part. I just like to give myself a little bit more depth. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just gonna be the outer V. It's not gonna be like, like it was with the crease. Um, Okay, eyeshadow is done. Um, I don't like to put anything on the lower end. I just feel like it closes off my eyes a little bit. I'm going to lightly touch my eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil. Um, this is by Prestige. Prestige. And it is their brow pencil. I'm just doing it very, very lightly. Um, I don't... Do it's just to kind of darken up my own eyebrows um, more than um, creating an eyebrow. And then I go ahead and brush it out. And next is mascara. I do two mascaras. I know that sounds like a lot of work. But I am going to go in with Maybelline New York Lash Sensa. Sensual. Okay, it's like, yep. And then I'm also going to go in with Marc Jacobs right after. Not right after. You'll see the process. Um, I kind of let this one dry a little bit. Um, and then I'll go in with the Marc Jacobs because um, this one I feel lengthens and then Marc Jacob definitely gives it um, more volume. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go in with um, NARS. This is Laguna Matte. It's a bronzer. And I'm just going to give my face a little bit of warmth um, because I am kind of more on the pale side. I just need something to give me a little bit more so I don't look so ghostly. Um, this is just like a quick way of giving yourself <laughs> some cheekbones and and giving your face a little bit more of a definition. And then for blush, oops, for blush, I'm going to use 
Pate by Tarte. Um, all of these are tried and true. These, these aren't new for me. Um, I wear them a lot. Um, so, the only thing that's pretty new, like I said, is the foundation. Um, And I, sorry, and I've been loving the foundation. So um, I'm gonna do the next layer of mascara. And like I said, it's gonna be the Marc, Marc, Marc Jacobs. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you think do you like it? I need something on my lips. Ah! I like Okay. Um let's see. What do I Okay. For my lips, I'm going to use ColourPop Frozen 2 Going North. Um it's a great lip color, just kind of neutral, which is what we're look what we're going for. Okay, and we are all set with the Disney look. What do you guys think? I'm gonna get my bangs down a little bit. There we go. Put the ears back on. These aren't the ears that I'm gonna be taking to the park this time, but this is kind of what the look's gonna look like when I'm at the park. I am so excited. I, I'm glad that I've packed everything pre and advanced. Um, yeah so i'm really really excited there is one more video that you will see with the same exact outfit um and it's a packing video i'm gonna get to filming that next and thank you guys for show showing up and coming to support this channel subscribe and like and leave a comment if you'd like thank you